Hi guys, Sean here from Family Gaming 24-7 and this is Rosie and this is Matthew. Today we're going to be looking at King of Tobio. King of Tobio is a dice and card game loosely themed around the old Japanese monster movies like Godzilla. The aim of the game is to be the first monster to get 20 victory points. Or be the last monster left standing and declared King of Tokyo. So let's get to the table and see what you get in the box. So guys, here we are with the contents of the King of Tokyo box. Just running through briefly, you get a game board, you get monster cards, and for every monster card you also get a monster standee. I've only got Gigasaur on display here, um, but you, there are other standees available. Um, you get a total of six black dice and two green dice, uh, a bag of energy cubes here, uh, some tokens, and some cards. These cards are used to enhance your mon your monster's abilities uh, and um, they cost energy cubes to buy so for example the regeneration card costs four energy cubes. Um, to get energy cubes and, and victories and attacks and etc you need to roll these six dice. Now the rules of the game say you can re-roll as many or as few of the dice as you want up to a maximum of three times. So that's your initial roll plus two re-rolls. Um, you roll the dice um, and the aim of the game is to try and be the last monster standing either by reducing your uh, enemy's health to zero uh, from ten to zero or gain twenty victory points. Um, to gain victory points you either win battles in Tokyo uh, and, and manage to stay in Tokyo for a full round or you roll either a 1, 2 or a 3 on the dice um, you need to roll three, num three identical numbers by the end of your turn in order to get victory points the number of victory points you get or, you know, depends on which number you roll on the dice if you roll a one, three ones, you get one victory point three twos two victory points and three threes three victory points also on the dice are hearts so every heart you roll gives you a, a life back unless you're the monster in Tokyo in which case you can't use hearts um, and the lightning cubes as I've said get you one, one lightning bolt gets you one cube and as I said, you need these cubes to buy cards to enhance your monster's abilities. And finally are these monster claws. These, represents, these represent attacks. So the more claws you get in a roll, the more you, you attack. If your monster is in Tokyo and you roll an attack cube, you attack every other player simultaneously. If you're not in Tokyo and you're outside of Tokyo, then your monster can only attack the monster in Tokyo. Um, that was a brief, a very brief rundown of the rules and showing you the contents of the box. Um, in the next episode, we'll actually be uh, having a playthrough, Rosie, Matthew, and myself, of the game. The, the rules will be explained in a little bit more detail. Um, so until then. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. You can like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and until next time, happy gaming.